Hey guys, welcome to today's reading. I hope you're all doing really well. So this week we're doing the collective check-in for Twin Flames Divine Soulmate Connections where there is a karmic situation or partner involved. And I will be looking at that on the side of the masculine, but as I always say, it could also be that the feminine is dealing with a karmic situation or partner. Usually that is also the case. There's some kind of a situation. Um, so feel free to take any messages that feel like they apply to you. Take those even if they do come up for the masculine because we both, we all have both masculine and feminine energies. Okay, so they could very well apply to you. And yeah, keep in mind that this is general as always, so it might not resonate for all of you. Um, if you'd like a personal reading, all that information is in the description box. And for those of you who have been thinking about possibly getting a cord cutting session, but you're not too sure, um, I'm actually going to try to post some of the feedback I've been getting for those. Okay, so I'll be posting, yeah, I'll be posting that soon. So do keep your eye out for that. And that is it. That is it. Let's get into the reading. Let's see what is going on with the masculines and the feminines. We're also going to take a look at what is coming up in the next week or so. So starting with the masculines, let's get some oracle cards to start off the reading and see what wants to come through. For the masculines, what do we need to know? What is currently going on with the masculines? Ooh. Okay, that is quite a bit here. All right. We have appreciation and then we have deceit and man holding a heart um, that came out together. So what this is about, this is saying the masculine is really being able, the appreciation, it's, it's all about being able to see something that was not seen before, like being able to appreciate a situation, not in terms of being grateful, but in terms of, okay, now I see, now I understand. All right. That's the energy that's coming through with this appreciation card here and what it is that they are acknowledging, what it is that they are now able to fully see is that, I mean, this is very general, <laughs> but this is what it is. Um, the fact that they have been deceiving their own heart basically. And I actually feel like this is in line with what is going on astrologically. Um, there's like this, this transit where Venus is going to be um, circling around Libra. And this is something big because from what I understand, Venus circles around the same, um, the same sign for like a hundred years. So we're at that point where now there's a shift and it's moving from circling around Scorpio to circling around Libra, which is all about equality and all about even reciprocity, right? It's all about that balance. So basically what the masculine is realizing here is that they have been deceiving their own heart, that they have been in a situation that's not fulfilling to them. That maybe, you know, it is uneven in the sense that only the other person or the situation is getting something positive out of it, whereas the masculine is not. Okay, so for those of you who are into astrology, if I said something um, that wasn't exactly correct, please feel free to leave it in the comments. I'm not an astrologer. This is just my basic understanding of what is happening. All right, so I feel like that was actually just a very general <laughs> explanation of what's happening with um, Venus and Libra. But I feel like this is very much in line, like now realizing that, hey, you know, I'm worthy of having fulfillment too. Like I'm worthy of having love too, or, you know, like I deserve to have what would fulfill me at a deeper level rather than something just being superficial or just chasing after something that, you know, isn't really what my heart desires deep down. Uh, let me get, let's use, let's just use this deck since we got quite a bit from that. I'm only going to use one more, one more deck. All right, so let's see. What else for the masculines? I'm also getting here that for some of these masculines, this is also really being able to see and understand where it is that other people are being deceitful to them in terms of love. Like what is real love and what isn't. 
And it's not, I mean, it's not new. I feel like we've gotten this message before, but I feel like right now it's at a, it's at a um, higher level, right? That appreciation, like really being able to see this. Okay, so we also have awakening, forgiveness, and big dreams. Ooh. Okay, so yes, they are, like I said, with that appreciation card, they're awakening to this. They're awakening to this fact. And not only that, I feel like, you know, they need to forgive themselves because a lot of these masculines have been holding on to guilt. A lot of these masculines are in other relationships because of guilt or feeling like they owe something to others or, you know, maybe they're people pleasers or even if it is to satisfy their own ego on a superficial level. And again, that is creating guilt. So this is something that I feel like they're awakening to where they need to actually forgive themselves before they can actually move on. Awakening to their big dreams. Like what is it that they truly want? What is the bigger picture here? What is it that I really, really want? What is it that would make me truly, truly happy? And it's not where I am right now because we have this deceit card. Okay, so with all of that said, let's see more specifically what is going on with the masculine's energy towards their karmic partner. If it's a situation, just apply the messages as, as they make sense. All right, so masculines. Masculine's energy towards their karmic partner. What is going on overall? Ooh, okay, they're all in reverse. We have the Four of Cups, the Five of Pentacles, and the Queen of Swords all in reverse. Okay, so overall, yeah, there's this deep, deep um, feeling of dissatisfaction. There's depression, settling, feeling like, like they are completely and utterly alone. There's a lot of detachment here, though, that's happening, but it's happening in a way that's coming off as being a little bit hostile so a little bit of hostile energy towards the karmic and it's because they're feeling so so alone in this connection now for some of them um it's also that they're feeling like they may have kind of like they've missed an opportunity to fix things or they've missed an opportunity to get themselves out of this situation and that's because, well, there actually was a window of, of opportunity um, recently. I, I think it was almost like like a month or two ago, and it was open for quite some time. And so for those of them who didn't um, act on it fully, which is okay, it means they were not ready, um, you know, this is really sinking in right now. Let's see what else. So what is going on in their headspace? What are they thinking about in terms of this situation? The devil in reverse, the eight of wands in reverse, and the four of swords in reverse. They are all in reverse so far, six out of the six. Wow, okay. Okay, so the good thing is, is that I feel like with this devil being in reverse, they're actually thinking more clearly. Um, they're getting rid of <clears throat> negative thought patterns or um, thinking that was based on illusion. That is clearing up. This is them also thinking that they need to do something about this, that they need to end this because they know that it is toxic. So this is, I feel like this is actually a new realization here, like really understanding how toxic this is, like that it's not just about, oh, I'm not fulfilled and you know, this isn't where my heart belongs. It's also, you know what, this is now getting toxic and wanting to come out of that. But with the Eight of Wands being in reverse and the Four of Swords being in reverse, there's a lot of restlessness surrounding that thought. And so at the moment, they don't know exactly how to act on that. And I feel like it's because they're processing this new realization of this actually being toxic and not just feeling like I'm not happy here, but actually seeing the negative results, the negative consequences, and understanding that this is something that is really not not good for them. Now, I probably will clarify a couple of these. I just want to get one more row real quick to see what's going on emotionally. Okay. Six 
of Wands, the Seven of Swords, and the King of Cups. Yeah, there's that. <laughs> See how we have the Deceit and Man Holding the Heart? I feel like it's <clears throat> the exact same message showing up here with the Seven of Swords, um, followed by the King of Cups. So, ooh, all right. All right, masculines, what is going on here? There is a little bit of ego getting in the way here. Um, there's a lot at play. There's a lot that they're trying to figure out in their heads as well as emotionally because they're becoming more and more in tune with their heart. They're becoming more and more in tune with what it is that would fulfill them and what is it that is deceiving that? What is it that is holding them back from that? And almost like like um, depriving themselves of that love. And that's what they feel is happening in this karmic situation, whatever it is. Now, for some of them, of course, you know, this could even just be an addiction. And again, I feel like if that's the case for you, if there is an addiction, this devil being in reverse is a very good indication that they're re realizing how toxic this is and wanting to break out of that, really wanting to break out of that. They're wanting to be successful here, okay, with the with the six of wands. And they're feeling this. It's like even though they're they're not just yet taking action, almost like they don't know what to say, they don't know what to do. I feel like there's just this restless energy that is blocking them right now, but it will clear up. Um, but they're feeling this sense of, okay, yeah, but I can do it, which is good. I can do it because I am deceiving my own heart and hey, you know, I deserve, I deserve to be fulfilled too and to have happiness and whatever this devil's energy is here in the karmic situation, it's not helping me to move forward and it's keeping me from healing. So that's like the <clears throat> major thing that they are thinking and feeling during this time period. but. So even though it's pretty clear, I still want to get some more details here. So let's clarify a bit, and then we're going to take a look at the masculine's energy towards their feminine. Okay, so let's actually see that top row, that four of cups in reverse, especially. The Seven of Swords and the Knight of Wands, both in reverse. Yeah, they're feeling like this deceit needs to stop, basically. There's this feeling of having of having had snuck away from their own true feelings, and it's like now they're really coming up to the surface. They don't want to be deceitful to this situation or to this partner anymore because that's what they've been doing. They've been deceitful to them by just going going with the flow or just going along with it or you know using this person for their own um, ego needs or whatever. Because even okay, so it could be that you know they have lust, for example. All right, it really depends on your situation. Again, that's to satisfy their own ego needs. For others, it's that they are people pleasers and have a lot of guilt. Again, that's that still goes back down to their own ego needs because people pleasing is a form of wanting validation in order to feel worthy. So this is something that they don't want to do anymore because they realize how much it is compromising their own well-being. So I do get that there's a lot of distancing here from the from the karmic partner. So they might be doing things together, but um, there's this sense of them just not being there, like not being present in that in that moment at all. Not only that, like I said before, I feel like there's hostile energy, even even aggression. And I don't necessarily mean physical aggression, but there's something here that is aggressive, and I feel like it's mostly in their in their words. So let's see the second row. The one with the devil, the eight of wands, and the four of swords in reverse.
Strength in reverse and the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so a specific message for some of you where your masculine might be married or in a very committed relationship. The reason why they don't know how to go about it or what exactly to say and they're feeling so restless is because they're feeling deeply that, wow, okay, they're going to have to move away from this Ten of Pentacles, something that they have invested in, something that was supposed to be long term. And this is what is creating a lot of a lot of restlessness because they don't know if they have the strength and the courage to actually move away from that. But like I said, there's also this thinking of, yeah, but this situation is, <clears throat> it's not only that I'm not fulfilled, it's actually bad for me. And I feel like that is the major thing here. Them realizing it's not just that I'm not happy and blah, blah, blah. No, it's like actively bad for me and toxic. And that the longer they stay in it, you know, the weaker they feel um, in terms of their own path and getting on with their own life and in terms of their own personal healing. So I don't know what is happening, what kind of events might be happening that might be um, showing this to them. But something is happening where they're able to see that this is bad for them. So it could be, for example, that, you know, something very specific is happening within this connection. And then there's like this um, automatic instant consequence on them. And so they're able to associate the two that, oh, being in this relationship or this connection or this situation, look at the result, look what happened. And for some of them, this could even have to do with a physical ailment, ailment, oh my God, <laughs> Ail ailment. Okay, I can't say it. You guys know what I'm trying to say. Um, like, you know, like a, like a sickness or just some kind of an injury maybe for some of them. I'm also getting that. Um, where now it, it, it was just kind of like a click. It's like exactly what they needed for there to be this click in their mind that, okay, wait, this is like leading to negative events happening. Almost like, you know, like uh, like a negative side effect from, from, from a medication. You know, like if you take a medication and then you have like some kind of a, an adverse side effect, it's kind of like that where if it happens instantly, you're able to make that association and realize, oh, it's caused by this medication that I just took. So something is happening within this connection where it's giving them that aha moment. Oh, this is connected. That's why I'm getting sick or that's why... Um, you know, I go through this depressive phase or that's why I end up relapsing to drinking or that's why I'm such, you know, I'm a workaholic. Something is happening where they're realizing that. And I do get that <clears throat> workaholic here also. <clears throat> or even just feeling weak. It's like this connection makes them feel weak as a person. So it's going to be something different for each of them. These are just some examples. And for others of them, I mean, it could even be, oh, like, you know, it's something that happens in that connection and then they, um, you know, want to leave and take a trip and be away. And then they can make that connection. Oh, that's why I never want to be home. Or that's why I'm, I want to do extreme sports. Whatever. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm actually going to leave it at that. I feel like that's actually... That's actually enough here. What I do like about this last row is this Six of Wands, feeling like, like they are capable of actually having victory over this, knowing that they can. Okay, so let's move on to the masculine's energy towards their feminine. Masculine's energy towards their feminine. Just overall, what is going on, please? We'll take the top three cards, unless something falls out on its own. All right. A lot of reverse cards for the masculines this time around. Um, wow. 
All right, these are all in reverse as well, and they are the Five of Cups, the Ace of Wands, and the Eight of Swords. Okay, so I am glad to see this Eight of Swords being in reverse. Again, I feel like this is um, popping up a lot um, in reverse, which is actually a good sign. Um, okay, so overall, at the moment, the masculine is not taking action towards their feminine. They're not actually taking that initiative. Right, so you could feel like they're holding back. Okay, for those of you who are like in on and off <clears throat> um, type of contact, um, right now the masculine is not taking a lot of initiative. And the reason why is because they are holding on to a lot of guilt. So maybe you are in contact, but the masculine is just not taking much initiative towards you. Um, and again, it's because that they, it's because they, they're holding on to guilt for things that have happened in the past and for everything that has led up to this point where they are now. And it's like having this realization um, that where they are is actually bad for them. I feel like that's kind of taking over. It's also creating a lot of regret. And so that is holding them back from taking action towards you, even though this realization of how bad their situation is and the bad effects that it causes that's also helping them to feel like okay you know well it's like they're able to appreciate the difference right going back to that appreciation card and realizing that with their feminine you know that is just not the case that really there's nothing to fear here or to keep them stuck from healing in the way that it's happening with the karmic. So I really feel like this is really all about that, making that um, distinct, distinguish, distinguishing that. <laughs> I don't know what is going on with me today. All right, let's, let's see what is going on in their head space. Okay, five of swords. There's a lot of fives here, right? We have the five of pentacles come out for them. We have the five of cups. We have the five of swords. So a lot of thinking about um, the guilt, the loneliness, the deception, right? Because we also have the seven of swords. Like there's a lot of... So they're, that's why they're all in reverse here. That's why so many of them actually are in reverse because there's so much thinking about all the negatives that are happening to them because of the situation that they are in. And this is actually a very good thing because, you know, without acknowledging that, we can't make change, right? And yeah. All right. So Five of Swords, The Fool, and The Eight of Cups in reverse. So they are thinking about um, taking action. They might not be taking action, right, as we saw in their general energy, but in their headspace, the fool is here. They are thinking about that. They're thinking about taking some kind of an action towards you, whatever that is for each of you, it's going to be different. For some of you, it might just be communication to start with. For others of you, you know, it might be, okay, you know, coming to see you. For others of you, it might be, you know, trying to start some kind of a relationship on another level with you it could be a whole bunch of different things really depending on your situation and where you're at so this is something that they're thinking about because they know that they cannot walk away from you all right eight of cups in reverse um they're wanting to come back here i feel like this is going to be especially true for those of you where the masculine like literally upped and walked away this is them wanting to to come back here because I'm actually seeing this Five of Swords um, in a good way where, you know, <clears throat> in the sense that they want to put themselves first. Like, again, they're thinking about their own heart and their own self in the good way, like in the way that is truly in their alignment and not in terms of people pleasing or just satisfying their ego on the surface. In other words, putting wanting to put their needs first, and they realize that in order to put their needs for putting their needs first would mean actually taking that risk and having to take that risk. So, but this is in their headspace, right? It's not what they're actually doing at the moment. Um, I feel like this masculine is thinking that they would actually need to put up a fight in order to do that, 
that they would need to disappoint other people, you know, especially the karmic, of course. And they do still have a sense of, yeah, I'd be, you know, pretty much betraying the karmic in order to do that or betraying that or some kind of a situation or for some of them, you know, betraying that part of their ego. But that's superficial and that's what they are um, going to realize. That's why this is happening so that they can realize that for those of them who feel like they are deceiving their own um that part of their ego where, you know, that ego was getting something out of this karmic situation, obviously, otherwise they wouldn't be there, okay? All right, so let's get the final row here. For their emotional space, the emperor in reverse, the lovers in reverse, and the queen of wands. Okay, so they're seeing you as this queen of wands. Um, yeah, emotionally, I mean, they're desiring you like no other. <clears throat> However... They're, they're feeling all over the place. They're, they're feeling like, even though they're feeling good about um, being able to resolve something here in the karmic situation and do what is best for them to follow their heart, they're not feeling so confident in terms of you. Like they're seeing you as being like way high up there and that they're still lacking in some way. Um, so it's almost like, you know, they're either, you know, admiring you or just feeling like, you know, you are just ahead of them in some way or that they have not been um, strong enough and this is affecting how they think that you perceive them. So it's like their perception of how you see them <clears throat> is affecting their confidence on an emotional level. But that's okay. That's something that they're going to have to work through as well. Um, so let's see. Should we clarify some of these? Yeah, let's clarify. Um, let's clarify that top row. All right, we have the Seven of Wands in reverse and the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, so this guilt that they're feeling, um, it's actually a good thing is what I'm getting here with the Seven of Wands being in reverse because they're not allowing self-defense mechanisms to fully take over. It's like they're becoming more vulnerable in terms of seeing where it is that they feel like they have made so-called mistakes. So they're able to see what it is that they regret and take <clears throat> accountability for that and for where they stand. So this is just something that they need to process. It's affecting how they feel about themselves, which is why they're not um, being more active or more energetic towards towards their feminine but like i said it's good because they're able to see that okay um you know i had a wall up and that wall now they can see through it and so that's why the guilt is now surfacing for these things whatever they are and they're going to process those and i do see them processing them like they're i don't see them being stuck on that for too long with the eight of swords being in reverse and then having this three of pentacles here like they're able to see that you know whatever it is that the two of you can work through it or any differences you may have had in the past or any differences that they feel you might have in the future they're feeling like you would be able to overcome these let's see the second row which is all about them thinking about take, taking this risk or taking this action towards you to come back. And we have, ooh, justice and the page of cups. Yeah, this is really strongly on their minds. They know that this is going to have to be a big decision. And not only that, you know, they feel like they're going to... Um, <clears throat> have to make this decision and it's going to have to be like a once and for all kind of a thing. Like they want to do it in, in the right way and they want to make sure that in the way that they do it, it's going to be like, okay, 100% conclusive, decisive, and that it's going to be fair for everyone. And not only that, like I said, when I was talking about Venus um, in Libra, 
like this is it right this is Libra's energy here and it's that essence of having what I deserve having what I deserve in terms of how I feel so they're thinking a lot about their emotions also um, <clears throat> towards you for a lot of them because of that guilt that's presenting itself <clears throat> They're thinking about what apology they want to give to you or how, you know, they can express that in some way. So this is just what's going on in, <clears throat> in their mind. So a lot of thinking about this. All right, let's see this bottom row. The three of swords <clears throat> and the nine of swords in reverse. So the fact that <clears throat> the fact that they haven't made this choice to be with you and the fact that they have been stuck um, in not making a decision here with the lovers being in reverse, this is creating a lot of pain. And this is why um, also, you know, they're feeling a little bit, I almost want to say like disencouraged, dis, un, disencouraged. I, I don't know what's going on with my English today, guys, sorry. <laughs> um, Dis disencouraged yeah I'm just gonna stick to that uh, disencouraged in terms of coming forward like that is also causing them pain the fact that they're not feeling like the Emperor but see this is something they're like so aware of like they're realizing that the reason why they're feeling this way and the reason why they're feeling disempowered is because of the karmic situation and because they are there and that is creating a lot of pain and stress for them they're realizing this. That's why the Nine of Swords is in reverse. Like they don't want to be in this energy. They're tired of feeling this stress in terms of you. You know, whether it was subconscious or conscience, it's conscience now that they're feeling anxiety and stress in terms of you and what you're doing and what's going on with you and the fact that they're not there and the fact that you're moving forward and they're, you know, stuck being this emperor in reverse, not having any control over what is going on with you. And I feel like that's another thing that is actually upsetting to them. And you know, like bothering them and creating this restlessness is that they're not there with you. You're doing all of these things and they're not there. So yeah, that creates a lot of pain for them as well. Okay, let's see what is going on with the feminines. So let's see, Femis, what is going on with you? What message is gonna come through for you? And we have contract. Okay, so this is like the justice card, right? The blindfold and the um, the scale here. So there's a lot of decisions that you are making, and I feel like you know the decisions that you're making, they're actually the right ones, whether you realize it or not. I feel like you know you're you're like making a decision and sticking to it, basically, kind of like what I was saying before with this um, justice card for the masculines. It's like what they know that they need to do, you're already doing in other areas of your of your life. And this decision could even be, you know, something as simple as, you know what, I'm not going to take initiative here with my masculine. The ball is in their court. It could even be as simple as that. It could be something else completely. It could be that, you know, you are making a decision in terms of your own karmic situation, whether it's a partner or a situation, a job, whatever. And so that's influencing them because you're you're being in this energy. Let's see what else. <clears throat> healing, observer, and regret. Okay, so you're healing your own regrets. You you're seeing things as well. So this is a time period where you know we all are actually able to see things that we were not able to see in the past about our own selves and about our relationships, our connections, our circumstances, you know, and where we decide to give our energy to. So I feel like, you know, this observer card, this is actually the feminine really, you know, observing your own self. That's how it's coming in and seeing, you know, what it is that you regret, like what decisions you've made in the past that, you know, had adverse consequences for you. And whatever that is, you're making decisions to break those patterns. You're doing something different. 
and at the same time you're healing those regrets realizing well you know there is no reason to regret you know everything that I've done was a lesson everything that I've done was to help me grow it was an experience so and if you feel like you're not you're not realizing that then take that as the message that there you don't need to regret you don't need to have regrets for anything and especially if you're feeling I regret meeting my masculine or I regret you know um, being so giving to them because it's not reciprocated or whatever no 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 it's okay you were you you know it, you whatever whatever the case is you know you, anything you did if you you know if this is your example well then that was you acting on love and that was you being your authentic self and being honest about how you feel and there's never a reason to regret that now if there are other things that you regret you know like maybe having man, trying to manipulate the situation you know to get what you want that's okay too that's part of the process don't be hard on yourself we like self-defense mechanisms will come up in these types of connections and that's so that we can learn ourselves at a deeper level which you know not everybody does so the mere fact that you know, you're observing these things and you're realizing them, you know, be proud that you are able to recognize those things. Not everybody does and everybody has these self-defense mechanisms. Everybody manipulates to some extent a little bit. And the important thing is to be able to eventually see that. And that's, that's what you've done. So don't regret that either, okay? So those are, I'm just gonna leave it at that for the feminines because this is getting kind of long. Um, so we're just gonna move on to the masculines, what is coming up in their energy towards their karmic situation? Let's see, what is coming up in the next week or so? The Nine of Swords in reverse, the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, and the Emperor. All right, good. So whatever that restlessness is, I feel like it's slowly subsiding. Um, they don't want to continue on this path of being stressed and being restless. So they're finding some sense of control here, which to me makes sense because like I, I knew that right away when I saw that six of wands here, um, you know, that they're feeling like they can have victory over this. And I see them moving closer to that and really stepping in that emperor energy, if not yet with, the, with their feminine, at least in their karmic situation, able to take control and to feel empowered that they have control over this, that there are solutions, there are things that they can do in order to have their own hearts fulfilled. Not with the karmic, obviously, because that's impossible, but that there are things that they can do in order to break away from this. Realizing that the solution is not, they're not going to find peace by continuing on that path. It's a dead end with the Knight of Pentacles being in reverse. They've already tried everything. They've already tried so many things and it has not worked out. So that is empowering them and that is helping them to see that they can actually take control here. They don't need to sit there passively. So are they taking action? Um, I don't know, that's not clear yet. But the Emperor being the final card out for you know the next week or so is very, very positive. All right, so let's see their energy for their feminines <clears throat> coming up. The Two of Pentacles, the Five of Wands, and the Tower. <laughs> there it is. I was wondering, where is that tower in this reading? Because I know, I mean, just based off of the other readings, there's a buildup to the tower. So I was thinking maybe this is a different group, but nope, here it is. And especially together with this Two of Pentacles and the Five of Wands, like, wow. Okay, so even though things are getting like kind of resolved here with the with the karmic partner, like they're finding the solutions in order to move away, they're having realizations, all of that. In terms of their feminine, this is a whole different story here. It's a whole different story. Like here, they're feeling, wow. I'm getting that for a lot of them, they're feeling either competitiveness, so it could be, again, you know, the fact that they're not in your life, it's it's making them maybe even a little bit jealous as to what might be going on, or if they know what's going on, you know, that. Um, and that's what I mean by competitiveness, like feeling like they might be up against other people, whether that's an illusion or not, um, or even just 
being up against you know your level and where you are and how strong you are and they're feeling less than whatever the case i do feel like things might be a little bit difficult coming up um not difficult just a little bit like rocky and shaky so this is going to be something completely different for each of you i'm not going to get specific here but if you are in contact or if you are in on and off contact um and then you do have some kind of an interaction, you know, expect it to be a little bit rocky. Now, for those of you who are not in contact, this is the masculine just really feeling it, all right, concerning you, just being very, very bothered. There's a sense of being disturbed in some way and not knowing how to handle the whole situation with you. Um, it's like things are getting smoother with the, with the karmic, not in terms of being together, but in terms of, okay, processing their feelings about, you know, getting out of the toxic situation. They're making sense out of it, in other words. But then with you, it's like, oh my God, what am I going to do about that now? What am I going to do about my, my feminine? So a huge tower is coming up here. And I say huge just because it's preceded by the two of pentacles and the five of wands. Um, so major, major crisis here coming up. And, you know, like whether or not you are in contact, like, yeah, this tower is building and it's coming and it has to do with you. It could even be that they find out something about you that just like completely like creates this crisis for them, whatever. Um, it's going to be big though. So that is it. Let's get a final Oracle message. So this was longer than usual. If you guys have stuck around this far, uh, thank you. Definitely leave me a comment to let me know um, if this made sense for you. Give me a like if it resonated. All right, let's see final message for feminines that this may have resonated for. Go the distance and TikTok. This is, I, I see this as this tower. Like, that tower is really going to blow things up. That tower is going to make a huge difference here. Go the distance. It really is a matter of time before that tower, like, blows up, basically. Um, this is, like, the fool card. This go the distance. Like, they're leaping towards this tower is what's happening here. And, again, I don't know what it is, but it's going to be something that is going to be very, I feel, transformative. Something that is going to be, like, a very big milestone in the connection between you and your masculine. Yeah, something is happening here, big time. All right, guys, I'm gonna leave it at that. I thank you so much for watching and much love.